Hi Scorpio, thank you for joining me for your March general read. For those of you who are new to channel, you might benefit from reading my descriptions box or my pinned comment below. It just frees me up to, to get straight into this reading. Okay, Scorpio Collective, please, for March. Scorpio for March. Okay, <clears throat> right, so you've got fork in the road. It's time to make a decision, consider the consequences and making necessary choices. And it's come out with why, and that came out off balance. Motives are driving intention, spending time in introspection. Right, so the first thing that's coming out here for you, Scorpio, is you're not, um, you're not being very uh, communicative at this time, right? There's something surrounding the intent of another that you don't fully trust, okay? Just with the way that that card came out, you don't know if you can trust a certain individual. You, you're not clear on their intent towards you. Um, you're unclear about if there's anything underhand that's currently taking place. That there's something here about trust. That this, I, I'm feeling that this is pretty much going to be the theme of the month of March for you. Um, the, this, see with this one, a fork in the road, it, obviously it's all about making a decision, okay? Um, <clears throat> there, there's something here, if, if you look at this card, right, it's a book with wings, all right? That tells me knowledge, communication and information, right? This is pertaining to you receiving some kind of messages from an individual that you don't trust. And it's put you in this frame of mind of, well, what do I do? Do I reply to them? Do I pick and choose my words very, very carefully with the understanding that what I say could easily be twisted? Um, it, it feels I want to use the word dangerous, but I don't, um, because for some of you, yeah, it, it could have uh, consequences. It feels like you're damned if you do and damned if you don't, if you know what I mean. Um, any kind of reply to this individual might be used against you. If, if you say nothing, that could be used against you. Um, you're certainly stuck between a rock and a hard place with this. Right, so we're going to start pulling this tarot and we'll see if we can get any further information out on this for you. Okay, let me take a look at Scorpio's energy, please, for the month of March. Scorpio's energy, please. Okay, two of coins, that's Jupiter in Capricorn energy. So again, it, it's all about weighing up your options, trying to figure out like what's, what's the best thing to do here in this situation. The six of wands is Jupiter in Leo energy and that pertains to success, a victory as well. The Knight of coins is Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn and the Ten of swords, yeah. Gemini energy. I'm not surprised to see that. Um, a painful ending, a necessary ending, a necessary decision, um, ha having to face the consequences of something. So this, what you're telling me here, Scorpio, with this particular combination is this individual has brought it upon themselves. Um, it's like they, they've lost your trust and they, they did it to themselves. Um, they, this is a direct consequence of their actions towards you, right? The, the Knight of Coins is the slowest moving knight in the deck, right? Um, so I'm seeing that you, you might well reply to this individual. You, you might clarify for them that it's over. Um, you're going to take your time to reply. You're not going to be in any kind of rush. You're going to think carefully and precisely 
about the exact words that you're going to use. And some of you might even keep um, some kind of evidence of the communication that went between you both as well. Because again, you don't trust them. You, you don't trust that anything that you say to them isn't going to be twisted around to suit themselves. I am seeing that you being vindicated with this Six of Wands energy, okay? In traditional tarot, it's the Lord of Victory. Um, so victory is imminent and that's very much what you're focused on. You're focused on winning. You're focused on coming out on top. You're focused on everyone seeing the truth as well. Okay, what's the outside influences effect in Scorpio, please? Mm. Nine of coins, Virgo energy. The king of coins, Taurus energy. This could well be pertaining to someone who, um, who's very conflicted. We've got Nine of Coins, which is a card all about uh, independence. And then the King of Coins is a card that's all about commitments. So you're dealing with an individual who doesn't know what they want. They're, they are very, very conflicted. I'm feeling that you were um, messed around by this individual. Let's see outside influences. Yeah, Hierophant, Taurus energy again. Another card about commitment. See, two commitment cards here back to back. Um, it, it's almost as if they were painting, it's like they were painting you a picture about how they wanted things to be, but then they, they were dishonest about their true feelings. Um, I'm seeing this as they were telling you things that, that, um, that they thought you wanted to hear. There, there's something about a lesson as well with that Hierophant. Clarify the Hierophant, please. Just get another shuffle because that was quite a bad shuffle. Clarify the Hierophant, please. Oh, strength, Leo energy, and the Five of Swords. Um, so the Five of Swords is Venus in Aquarius energy. Highly, highly competitive vibe, uh, the need to win. So I'm seeing this as some someone might have made out to you, Scorpio, that they were single, that they were available. Um, or cross watches, you can flip this around, okay? This could have been Scorpio that did this to you, right? You just have to take it as it resonates. Um, either way, that there, there is, there, there's a lie here, right? With that Five of Swords, somebody lied about their finances, their financial ability. They've lied about their career, or they've lied about the fact that they were single when they actually weren't. OK, um, this this individual, that they were messing you around, that they, they were being very, very selfish. You've clocked them. You've caught them out. You've caught them out in their own lie and their own deceit. And now we see, see with this message that they've sent you. If they've not sent it yet, it's it's coming in. It's it's on its way. Um, it's no wonder that you don't know how to react to this information or this message. Um, it's a really, really difficult situation here that someone else has put you in. What's the outcome of this, please, for Scorpio? What's the outcome? Oh, okay, right. Oh, no. Right, so you've got the Five of Wands, it's Leo Energy, and the Knight of Wands, Sagittarian. 
so the outcome that it feels like there's a bit of a rivalry here that's building you've got the king of swords as well which is aquarius this is the beginning point of a rivalry that i'm seeing in this read and it, it's showing out in your outcome as well the five of wands can be about jealousy and let's bear in mind you've got two fives now and a ten of swords this is messy it's really really messy in your outcome there's drama chaos conflict um and it's caused by someone someone and i'm feeling that it's them scorpio are being very very irresponsible by charging straight towards you sending you messages that they've got no business sending you causing someone else here to feel jealous and to feel like um that they've been put in competition with you i'm feeling scorpio i'm feeling that this individual is using you you're being used to create drama now whether or not that's deliberate or just a byproduct of their own actions i don't know because it is going to be different for all of you right um that that is going to be the the main thing that you're going to have to figure out according to your own situation all right um it, it's not great i mean we we could have had so much of a nicer read here unfortunately though i do have to go with what i'm given okay um i'm seeing this as someone is trying to drag you through the mud or they're trying to drag your name through the mud because they're jealous and they're jealous due to another individual is showing you some kind of attention when they've got no business showing you attention all right they're, they're not single they've made out that they're single and they're not um so this jealous individual is going to be whoever their significant other is and then you've got the king of swords so with that being in your outcome you're going to emotionally detach yourself from this particular individual i'm not seeing that you're going to get involved in any kind of drama or maliciousness i'm seeing here that you're going to take the higher ground all right um because the king of swords energy is someone who uses their intellect the blockage there you go judgment um it's pluto energy so yes someone is trying to revive a dead situation now they're, they're either trying to revive the relationship or the connection with you or they're trying to revive the drama that they once caused for you so you you will need to be on high alert here throughout the month of march okay um i'm feeling that there, there is someone incredibly resentful and spiteful around you who they're, they're trying to come back for for another attack all right um th this is someone that you know it is someone that you know because you do have judgment that's someone from your past trying to come back in um the the lighter side of this card is obviously a rebirth I'm not seeing that this is a situation that you would like a rebirth of though Scorpio because it caused you nothing but hurt chaos devastation arguments it caused you nothing but trouble I'm not convinced that that's something that you would want a rebirth of and you are going to have to make the final judgment call on this you will it's under there the seven of coins um yeah that that's dodgy saturn in taurus energy um it, it's all about patiently waiting okay patiently waiting for your harvest it's about reaping what you sow this can be a very very karmic card 
really, really frigging karmic, especially given the fact that it's Saturn energy. And Saturn is the planet of karma, power to reward. That's literally the seven of coins, power to reward. Um, there's a karmic cycle here and it's coming back round uh, with the intent to bite you on the arse. I'm not seeing that it's going to be successful. I'm really, really not. It's dodgy, really dodgy energies. Um, and it makes total sense now as to why this Y card came out off balance. You don't trust them. There's good, very, very good reasons as to why you don't trust them. Whatever this was, they, they must have done something pretty horrific to you in order for, for you to not trust them. Um, it, it's no wonder that you're confused as to why they would be coming back around for another shot. And I, I can understand now why, why you're sitting there going, yeah, but what's their intent? What's their intent? I'm seeing in this read, for some of you, uh, the coming back round to try and rebirth the relationship or the connection with you. For others of you, they're deliberately trying to rebirth any kind of drama that played out between you before in the past. So it's very 50-50. Right, so your guidance is finger pointing. Our partners reflect our wounds. Relationships mirror what we are. Finger pointing and take responsibility. So your guidance here. While taking responsibility for any kind of part that you might have played into a situation, taking the entire blame is unhealthy, right? Do not sit there and blame yourself for the actions of others. You can't control what someone else does. You can control how long they stay in your life for, absolutely. But you can't, you can't control like the actions of someone else. Deal breakers. List and adhere uh, to your deal breakers. The universal support you stay in true to you. And strategy. Have a game plan. Implement daily routines that support your goals and be clear about your desires. So Scorpio, your guidance is to uh, remember. Remember everything that they have already done to you. Right. For those of you who attempted to give this individual another chance, you, you might need a reminder about who exactly it is that you're dealing with. Um, so obviously, if you if you've got any old um, any old correspondence that that played out between you in the past, if you've got copies of that, like copies of old emails, old text messages, anything like that, you might benefit from going back and reading it all over again and refreshing your memory as to exactly what this individual put you through. There's someone coming in towards you, Scorpio, that's making out that they've changed and they haven't actually changed. That's the problem here. The healing message, please, for Scorpio. Divine consciousness. Okay, so... I always say you get three messages that come with these cards. Your first message comes from the creator of the deck. Your second and most important message comes from your own intuition while you're looking at the card. And then your third message comes from your reader and their intuition. Right. So it says, divine awakening, open your mind to new possibilities. Working with divine consciousness, we can open ourselves to deep thought and meaning that cannot be described in normal language. It is felt and expressed with the heart and the higher self. Peace, bliss, divine power and unlimited expansion await you when you consciously connect at this level. Between soul and spirit, it is possible to connect our inner being to divine consciousness. Divine consciousness enables us to open our mind to different states of reality and communication.
Right now, you're experiencing an awakening. Congratulations. You're raising your consciousness and you're energetically shifting. Your divine blueprint has been activated into a new state of awareness. You may feel oversensitive, but it will soon pass as you adjust to this new vibration. You're now connected to the healing energy of the divine and miracles can occur if you keep a positive mindset. Archangel Gabriel sup uh, supervises these transitions as you become connected in mind, body and spirit. Being connected to the divine consciousness uh, aligns you with your divine purpose, grows and expands your spirit, encourages you to remember who you were before you came into being. You're encouraged to meditate to remove yourself from earthly dramas, gossip and physical issues. Be gentle with yourself. Eat nutritious food, drink enough water and plenty of rest. By connecting to a state of consciousness higher than our mind's physical awareness, we eliminate impurities and toxicity within the body. Spirit, higher thought forms, angelic connections and animal messages will come clearly to you now. Keep a journal for the next 21 days to record thoughts, feelings and messages, meditation and dream states that may arise or appear to you throughout the day as your body adjusts to these new energies. And the positive affirmation that comes with this card is, I am at one with divine energy. I allow divinity to flow through me and align my unique vibration to the highest form of universal love. So that will be the reason behind us seeing this karmic uh, lesson in you read. There's a repeating cycle in your read. And that'll be why. It, it certainly looks like uh, the universe is guiding someone untrustworthy from your past back towards you to see um, if, if you'll pass this test, to see if you'll let them back in. It's interesting. Right, so for those of you who are new to my channel, I do have to give a warning that this is the Rebel deck. It's, uh, this is where the reads can get quite sweary and brutal. So um, if you're not into that sort of thing, uh, you might want to switch out now. It's up to you how you divvy out these cards, okay? Um, it's completely up to you if, if you want to take certain ones for yourself or give others to whoever else it is that you're dealing with. Ooh, it's completely up to you. It's all still interchangeable, okay? Right, so you've got money, make it rain. So they could be coming back in, looking for handouts. That, that could be someone who's coming in, trying to take your money off you. You look like a shit show. You're a hot mess. Fact. Clean yourself up. Stop fucking whining. No one wants to listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. You have the strength to change your world, so do it. Yeah, I'm feeling that could be for who, whoever it is you're dealing with there. Yeah. You're the shit. Don't forget it, indeed. Laugh. Where the fuck is your sense of humour? I'm feeling when this individual asks you for something, and for some of you it could well be your money, uh, someone who did you wrong in the past is coming in asking you for a favour to do with finances. I am seeing that you're going to laugh at them and say, you change your own world, you know? Who the F do you think you are? You are loved. You're here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. You equals tight ass. Loosen the fuck up. Control freaks don't get laid. They were nowhere to be seen when you needed help. Get the fuck out of your head. Get in your heart. It misses you. Stop texting. Stop stalking. Stop checking in on that person. Just fucking stop. Spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. Yeah, don't, don't invest any kind of time or energy into an individual that you don't trust. It, it, it's not worth your peace. So Scorpio, please. Thank you. 
Never settle. Yep. Never settle. Be you, do you, for you. Yep. You might have to be selfish in this particular decision here, Scorpio, and you mustn't feel guilty for doing it as well. You do need to protect yourself. You do need to protect your finances and your peace of mind. Um, it's abundantly clear that you do not trust this individual for a reason. Do not go out of your way to help them. Whatever you do, you, you cannot do that to yourself. Interesting read. Okay, so that is what I have for you, Scorpio. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, then the link to do so is in the descriptions box and it's in the pinned comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hi guys, so I just wanted to do this extra segment at the end of the videos uh, to explain my table theme throughout the month of March. So my table theme is dedicated to a really beautiful kind soul. She's called Karen. I'm not going to give her full name, obviously, because I would like to uh, protect her full identity. Uh, but she's called Karen and she's from the Mulliseat tribe, which means the people of the beautiful river. And she sent me this. I hope I, I hope I can pronounce it correctly. She sent me this Willamaskill, which is sweet grass, and it's grown in her territory. And it's actually one of their four sacred medicines. So it's really, really special. Uh, she taught me how to use it properly and how to look after it. And she also sent this beautiful dream catcher as well. And that was actually handmade by a Mi'kmaq elder. And I keep this on my wall close to me at all times. And she also sent me this beautiful handmade card as well. I am completely and utterly grateful for her kindness and her generosity. It's absolutely incredible. And that's why I wanted to dedicate this month's theme purely to Karen and to, to her tribe and to her people, to her culture. Um, it's honestly um, to to have these items that are so utterly special is just so incredible. I'm so grateful. I'm so, so proud as well. Uh, so thank you so much, Karen Wallywan.